Hey guys, this is Devin again here with Hillbilly Networks. Today I'm going to talk to you um, a little bit more about some certifications, uh, specifically Cisco certifications. Um, I myself, I hold a Cisco CCNA route and switch and uh, I took the route of taking the Cisco CSENT that stands for Certified Cisco Network Entry Technician. Uh, that's a the first step of kind of a two-part test they had going there for a while for you to get your CCNA. Um, they broke it up into two separate tests since it's so massive. But uh, now I believe they've only got one part. It's a whole CCNA test, which is what the majority of people over time have taken. Um, if you haven't looked into that test, it's an extremely hard test. I'm not going to lie. I had to study a 900 page book um, that was basically just a bunch of computer science and networking uh, information for about the fo whole first half of the book uh, and then the second half of the book if I remember correctly uh, that's about where it took a turn into getting more into how to maneuver uh, a Cisco router or switch how to work across that platform. Um, you get into using uh, routing protocols such as OSPF, uh, it talks about the BGP, which is the uh, routing protocols that's used for what we call the internet, um, the wide area networks that make that up. Those edge routers of those networks use BGP. Um, like I've said in uh, my bio, I, I work for a company where I work with a wide area network, and that's, that's again, that's what we use at the edge of our system. We use BGP to connect us to the internet, the rest of the world, so to speak. But the Cisco exam is probably the most comprehensive exam I have taken. Um, I'm working on another one right now that's more on the design of communications networks it's more of an engineering cert and it's pretty big but the Cisco in terms of networking itself getting into the actual working with routers and switches and understanding those topologies and how to troubleshoot repair upgrade uh, maintain so on and so forth Cisco is probably the most in-depth I, I have taken part of and it's hard um, I've met people that are very smart more intelligent than me that are network engineers for universities and have worked at companies for 20 30 years dealing with different types of technology and they fail that test two to three times even after studying and most of the time that's simply due to they're using a study material that's not trustworthy and how do you know which material is trustworthy um, that's a problem that a lot of people run into uh, here on YouTube, you can probably find a lot of information on what is trustworthy, but you've got to be careful about who you're listening to. Um, first off, I would listen to somebody that's actually passed it, because there's a lot of people on YouTube talking about the CCNA that haven't passed it yet. Um, there's some people on here that have failed it three or four times and are making videos about it, and that's good. They tell you what not to do, um, but I would... <laughs> I would whole lot rather somebody just tell me really quick, what do I need to do to pass this? Um, well, here it is. This is what you need to do to pass the CCNA Cisco route and switch. There's two options, and one I did passed both parts of the test, no problems. I almost aced the first part of the test, actually. Um, what I did was I read Todd Lamley's CCNA route and switch study guide, and that's the 900 page book I read. Um, there is, a, I believe, a new Cisco exam out right now, so he probably has a new volume, a new edition. And he offers courses online. Um, courses for Cisco tests tend to be very expensive, sometimes four or five grand. Um, and that's because it, there's a ton of knowledge packed into those courses. It's, it's really unimaginable. I, I would have never guessed there was that much information into it until I did it. I have a bachelor's in IT, and I can honestly tell you I learned more off that CCNA than I did on my bachelor's in IT. Um, now, that wouldn't be the case for everybody who's got a bachelor's in IT. Um, but the university I went to, great university, 
Um, but most of the time, whenever you're doing university work, you're going to touch over different topics and different coursework. You might specialize in something, and if you choose networking to specialize in, you're probably going to get pretty deep in that. But Cisco goes a whole lot deeper than what most university courses are going to touch on. I couldn't even begin to try to give you an example of how deep it goes. Just know that it's 900 pages of, if you're new to networking, all kinds of stuff you haven't even heard of more than likely. And that was the case for me. And I was like, whoa, this is insane and very interesting. So I enjoyed reading it. I enjoyed learning it. I enjoyed doing the labs. Um, I used the Cisco Packet Tracer while I was doing the labs, and it worked great for me. Um, Again, I passed both tests. Now, on the second part of the test, I did do CBT Nuggets with Jeremy Char. He is really great. He's fast-paced. Um, you might have to re-watch some of his videos because he is he's very energetic. He's very positive about what he's doing. But when you're looking at a very technical thing, you might have to slow that down for yourself if you're you know, new to it to uh, keep up with him. Um, I know I did, at least. But between all three of those... The, uh, I mean, all two of those, I'm sorry. The uh, Jeremy Chara series and uh, the Cisco CCNA routing and switch and study guide through uh, Todd Lamley. That is all I did to study for it, and I passed it with no issues. Um, the book is very cheap, and you can get about a one month membership to listen to Jer Jeremy Chara's videos on CBT Nuggets for a pretty decent price, too. So you really don't have to spend a lot of money. Nobody needs to spend four or five thousand dollars on one of those courses unless if you're somebody that maybe is pretty out of touch with technology, maybe you did it, you know, 20, 30 years ago and you're trying to get back into it today. In that case, one of those courses would probably be useful. Um, but to somebody that's, you know, has a pretty good grasp, understanding of it, like say they've got their Net Plus, their CompTIA, and they understand all that stuff on there what it does but they need to dig a little deeper in it then the ccna you should just be able to study one of those books and then after you get done studying and you think you're ready just start taking some free exams online um just take them over and over again until you're scoring 80 90 to 100 percent every single time and once you hit that point go take your test you should be able to pass it no issues now i will tell you those questions you have on those exams online are not going to be on the, the Cisco exam. All that is doing is testing your overall knowledge to see if you're ready. They change their exams so frequently, it is almost impossible to walk in there and memorize any answers or anything. And I wouldn't recommend it, because if you're getting a CCNA and you're going to hold that title, you need to know everything it has in it, because it's massive and it's not going to look good if you get a job somewhere and you just memorized all those answers because they're going to expect you to be able to know how to console and to switch and do anything in it. And the same thing with a router. Um, that's all I got for today, guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, I'll see you later. Thanks.